Hello and welcome to my digital Christmas and to the fully charged Christmas episode for 2020. Now, not going to lie, it's been a tough year for everyone, including us. Yeah, don't worry, this is going to be a positive video. It's not all about the thing. Now, we started off the year with Fully Charged Live in the USA, which was a gangbuster event. But sadly, due to non-COVID related issues, I wasn't able to attend myself, but we had an unbelievable response to it. And that is why we're planning on returning as soon as possible. Now, COVID aside, it's been a rather odd year of filming videos we've never done before. Uh, like my garden reviews, uh, to the top tens with Rory Reid and Andy Torbett and our introductory EV series with Maddie Moat and Helen was doing some self-shooting. But that being said, it's been an insane year, but we've still managed to have some fun. My name is Robert Llewellyn. Hey, bonjour, je m'appelle Robert. Doing loads to save the planet. With a fully charged twist. Anyone asks about uh, electric vehicles, go, you should watch Fully Charged, because that's quite good fun. I've been doing that a lot. Ooh, how wonderful. Addy Gibbs Electric. <laughs> Enjoy. I'm like, yes, right, OK, now we can talk about it. I feel like I'm part of the team now. Yeah, yeah. His name is Rory Reed. Well, it's trying to kill me. <laughs> OK, I don't like that Mercedes. An electric car is just a battery on wheels. Highly controversial. Oh, my God! <laughs> Our Shanghai correspondent. Over to you, Elliot Richards. 20 centimetres bigger that way, 20 centimetres bigger that way, and a little bit smaller. So we've started calling him Action Andy. Wheel in Torbett. Can I have a go? My primary role is kind of, you know, I'm the, the fully charged cross test dummy. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is the arrival electric delivery van. Let's take a look around the Honda E. <laughs> Shell wants us to stop buying petrol and diesel cars. What the what? It is the absolute last dregs. It's the it's the poo that drops out of the bottom. This is gross, you know. Calm down, Jumbo. I'll let you out in a minute. It's my elephant in the room. It's very warm in here. Bit of beer. What is in here that makes it dangerous? There are both solids and liquids, right? I don't quite know how to turn the thing on. Oh, you plug these things in, don't you? Mm. I'll give it a go. Where's the rest of it? Exclusive, private, online reveal that a fully charged have been invited to. Yeah, we've got a, we've got a special invite. It's pathetic, it's childish, I know. Uh, but that's the way it is. A big battery. <laughs> nice. You've made it look easy. Was it easy to build? Robert has sent me to the extremes. My big tank is charging. What's the missus going to say when she gets back and sees the law? Yeah, the government hasn't found a way of taxing the sun yet. Yes, yes, I love that. A bit brexit <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Get off my land! <laughs> Uh, up here, I've got my little moving assistant called Normie. You know, to be fair, there's not a great deal of hair up there. You've got to put it down to age. I mean, it'd be easy for you guys. Well, no, but... Robert, you're not a year older than 30, surely. <laughs> <laughs> this is me as Kimball Musk. Musk. Press a button and it goes buzz, and it turns into that. <laughs> it, as you can see, it's a beast. I was learning from you, man. <laughs> I love your channel, so congratulations. Oh, well, no, thank you so much for, for coming on. <laughs> I just wanted to get out. We're actually now going outside with cameras and recording stuff. So exciting. I can actually get in it and drive it. I'm fully charged. What a breakthrough. 
I'm fully branded today. And we're going to take it for a little spin. Then goes all the way around. Tesla testing is Tesla obsessed. A Tesla tsunami. I can delay your renewable dreams for decades. <laughs> What? What's it's 0 to 60? That's really important. It's actually quite impressive, isn't it? <laughs> wow! I did that. Adventure time. Yes, go, go, go. go. <laughs> Look at that, I'm burning off this motorbike. <laughs> oh my god, he's beaten me. Damn! <laughs> then it engages the rear motor and that's when things seriously kick off. Madness. <laughs> I'm trying not to just let off so much. The machine's going for it. Woo! It's faster, it's lighter, it accelerates quicker. <laughs> ah! <laughs> As always, if you have been, thank you for watching. Now, the more regular viewers will have realised that joining Helen Chesky, Chelsea Sexton and myself, we've had a number of new faces on the channel this year. We've introduced you to Rory Reid, Elliot Richards, Maddie Mote and Andy Torbett. They have covered all angles from automotive EVs to bikes to skateboards to scooters to boats and it's been a joy to have them on our show. So to celebrate this, the crew at Fully Charged the overpaid, underworked crew, yeah, just leave them. Anyway, they have selected their best bits of the year. Hello and welcome to another Fully Charged. I'm me. I'm Elliot Richards and I'm the new China correspondent. I'm Rory Reid. Welcome to Fully Charged. Let's plug it in. I want charging to be like off the charts. doing it in an EV1. Whoa! <laughs> I'm gonna hop in, press some buttons and see how I get on. Electric cars are amazing. I've got it all. I've got everything I could want. All sorts of autonomous vehicle things. So it's all possible. I really am doing this for the first time. <laughs> Top end of the spectrum. Now the battery's spinning around. You can see the battery's been put in. Get rid of that. Let me show you what's there. You've done it. So, from time to time, the production team, Twitter followers, and maybe a few YouTube commenters have realised that I get slightly ranty. It's something I'm not aware of myself. Uh, and so the editors have decided to make a montage about that. I mean, look, I'm a passionate <laughs> man, OK? I, I don't want these people and companies to get away with all that shit that they do. Throwing away batteries after three is your because your balls. With cuddle nine acting it, your telly tub is in constitution. Lingering, long lasting. 
it's rant time. Oh, those solar panels, they're not as cheap as people say. I think if you look into it, you'll find they're 30 to 50% more than, than we say or, or something. Oh, please, believe us, please, because we're desperate, because we've really got to sell a lot of coal and gas and no one wants to buy it anymore and we're panicking. No, no, it can't go that far. A terror factory. <laughs> a terror factory? What the hell is that? Just a big factory. I mean, it has to have a cool name. I cannot tell you how many tweets I've had. When is there going to be an electric estate car? Fine, carry on, guys. It's lost 5% of its value. What the what? 5% in one year. Boom, off a cliff. You might as well just throw the car away. <laughs> Let's take it slowly, because no one knows if electric vehicles really work. The clear, it's been happening for decades. Oh, 10 years we've been waiting for this. Come on, post office. Pull your finger out, you lazy. When I bang the desk. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so hot! There has been a lot of dispute. Yet again, yet again, a compact SUV. Uh -huh. It did a hundred miles on a charge. You notice I looked around? That's a sign of lying. It's not eye watering, it's eye gouging. Elitist scumbag. <laughs> Toxic beyond all measure. Let's get rid of those damn electric cars. They're not real men's cars anyway. Why don't we just keep on digging up coal and flogging it around the world? I'm not a consumer. I refuse to be a consumer. I don't want to be a consumer. I'm a person or maybe a citizen. I'm definitely not a consumer. No, people are sick of that. I'm not going to say consumers, Deloitte. Get over it. Start using normal terms. The consumer going forward. No, people in the future. Yeah, let's see about that then. Yeah. Oh, I hate that. I hate how... <laughs> Uh, corporations inveigle their snot-nosed little terms into our normal everyday language. I will not say going forward and I will not say consumer. We hear so much about billionaires, there's billionaires. I'm not interested. It's not really green. It's not green. A proper job. Digging up coal. Manly. A manly job. Digging up coal to burn to make manly steel. Renewables don't really work and windmills just kill birds and solar panels just, they're all rubbish and they're made out of really rare materials that have to be dug up by puppies. Instead of investing and, and investing in new technologies that can replace burning fossil fuels, we open a coal mine for those idiots. A new coal mine in 2020. No! The world's gone insane. We're screwed. We're stuffed. We're doomed. Just off to me in my studio waffling on like an old trout. A couple of rants have leaked in. But you know, we've all been shut up for a long time. I think I need to take my pills. <laughs> ah, ah. Now, fortunately, my year's worth of Valium has just arrived and the director has insisted I start taking them early. And so now I'm just peachy again. Peachy, is that really peachy? Yeah, so peachy, it's unbelievable. <laughs> now, speaking of a year's supply, we thought that you might like to see some sneak peak footage of things we have lined up for 2021. Now this is a bit of a special show because it's 2021. Acceleration, which you kind of expect, it's the braking. I mean, that that's tore me to bits. <laughs> Because this, I've seen one of these, we'll talk about that in a moment, the shoebox. But it's also got a second purpose, which is to help with the ground maintenance of this 40 acre site. The temperature down to like minus 15, what I might get up, up in Aberdeen, 105 miles. It's the size of my thumb, this little thing here. If you look at that, and then you look at the handbrake, and it's like, two different cars. Tesla Model 3. It's had a, it's had a facelift. What is it that is coming off the tyres? What do we do about it? How can we make things better? How on earth can I ever afford that? And I mean, if you actually look at the, some of the lease deals now on the cheaper electric cars, I think are incredibly yeah, fantastic. The car wasn't able to drive, and especially not around the track. No. 
We know that this is the year of the electric car. No, really, this is it. This year is going to be amazing. There's already so many different models available. So again, another odd Christmas special from us. But before we go, I just want to thank all the team and presenters for doing such an amazing job. But the good news is Fully Charged Live 2021 in Farnborough is going ahead this time outside, which makes it three times larger than we'd originally planned. So it's even bigger. Anyway, we also would like to thank our subscribers, but especially our Patreons and YouTube members. For outtakes of this episode, become a Patreon supporter or a YouTube member and you get to see them, especially no one else can ever see them, just you. Mm. All of us here wish all of you a very happy holiday and we hope you get to spend some time with the ones you care about, even if it's on Zoom. So from all of us at Fully Charged, we say hello to 2021 and goodbye to 2020. So if you all have been, thank you so much for watching. into the car from your solar panels from the grid from wherever charge the car but it can also go the other way it can come out of the car and into the house or into the grid so you can run your house on your car and you can run your car from your house it goes both ways and you can run the grid from the car and you can run the car from the grid it goes both ways This is to thank you, the viewers of Fully Charged, for all the hours and hours you've spent watching our shows over the last 10 years. Absolutely amazing. Happy birthday, Fully Charged. We are making some brilliant shows against all the odds the actual practical future in the real world. Just off the scale amazing. We were just ahead of the curve, leading the field. So we're now feeling a little bit smug. Looking at all sorts of new EVs. Bring it on, let's experiment with all these ways of getting around. Let's make the whole thing battery powered so there's no emissions. No matter the origin of the food, mm. you've still got the, uh, the processing, the packing, and the retail as well. Have you thought about electric? All you have to do is pull up to one, plug in, and there's no complication whatsoever. 
masses of fun and I really, really like it. The image of the, the positive future. They have really no choice as a group not to knock this out of the park. Legacy automakers, watch out. Let's go for each other, okay? Ease this up. Everybody ha hang on to your camera! Hang on to your cameras! I predict this will be a massive business opportunity in the next 10 years. The world's first electric car only drive-in cinema. The cutting edge of what is plausible. I'm going to switch to an electric vehicle because it's better, the cars are less expensive, it's cleaner, the charging experience is so much more awesome, why would I ever go back? It is amazing. The prices are going to drop. Producing an enormous amount of electricity. Well, it should be happening everywhere. It should be happening everywhere, <laughs> shouldn't it? Let's get rid of cars from cities and have nice trees and flowers and plants like this. Uh, you know, we'll try and do this again sometime.